Consider this, Earth, our blue planet, is not the only celestial body in our solar system to hold the title of ocean world. Indeed, the Earth's vast oceans, covering over 70% of its surface and holding more than a trillion liters of water, are a testament to the life-giving properties of this essential element. But our planet is not alone in this regard. Beyond Earth, hidden beneath the icy surfaces of far-flung moons and planets, lie oceans that might make our own seem modest in comparison. These subsurface seas harbored within the heart of celestial bodies like Europa and Enceladus hold secrets and mysteries that we've only begun to explore. As we delve deeper into the cosmos, we find ourselves not just on the shores of new worlds but on the cusp of vast alien oceans. Among the celestial bodies with oceans, two moons stand out, Europa and Enceladus. These intriguing celestial bodies nestled within our own solar system are believed to harbor liquid water oceans beneath their icy surfaces, a potential testament to the adaptability of nature's elements. Let's start with Europa, one of Jupiter's largest moons. Beneath its icy surface, scientists speculate a vast ocean, possibly twice the volume of all Earth's oceans combined. This conjecture is based on a variety of evidence, including the moon's smooth icy surface, which suggests the presence of a subsurface layer of liquid or slushy water. Additionally, the intriguingly chaotic terrain of Europa points towards the existence of a subsurface ocean that influences the moon's surface geology. Now let's shift our gaze to Enceladus, a moon of Saturn. Like Europa, Enceladus also hides a subsurface ocean beneath its icy shell. This moon, however, doesn't keep its ocean a secret. Rather, it spouts out giant geysers of water vapor from cracks in its surface, a spectacle that has been captured by space probes. This active cryovolcanism is a clear indication of Enceladus's subsurface ocean. But how do we know these oceans exist? One of the key pieces of evidence is the motion of aurorae. The celestial light shows we associate with our own polar regions. In the case of these moons, the motion of aurorae, caused by the interaction of the moon's magnetic field with solar wind, provides compelling evidence for the existence of subsurface oceans. These icy moons with their hidden seas are tantalizing hints of the aquatic wonders that lie beyond Earth. They remind us that our home planet is not the only world with water, a fundamental ingredient for life as we know it. And who knows, perhaps these alien oceans might even harbor life, but that's a story for another time. Yet the title of the largest ocean in the solar system does not belong to a planet, but to a moon, Ganymede. Ganymede, Jupiter's largest moon, and indeed the largest moon in our solar system, holds a secret beneath its icy surface. It is home to an ocean that makes the Pacific on Earth look like a puddle. This subsurface ocean is believed to contain more than six times the volume of Earth's entire body of water. Imagine, a world where the ocean depth could swallow our Mount Everest whole, not once, not twice, but several times over. So how did we come to this astonishing conclusion? The evidence comes from the motion of aurorae. Ganymede is the only moon in the solar system with its magnetic field, and this field interacts with Jupiter's, creating beautiful auroral displays. By studying these auroras, scientists could infer the presence of a large body of salt water affecting the moon's magnetic field. But Ganymede's ocean is not an ocean as we know it. It's locked beneath a crust of ice, maybe a hundred kilometers thick. Despite this, it's still an exciting discovery. Why? because where there's water, there's the potential for life. Now, we're not talking about whales or giant squids here. If life exists in Ganymede's ocean, it would likely be microbial, similar to bacteria found in Earth's extreme environments. But even this possibility is exciting because it broadens our understanding of where life could potentially exist, not just on planets, but also on moons. Ganymede, a moon more oceanic than Earth itself, challenges our views of where we might find water, and perhaps life in the cosmos. The existence of these alien oceans raises an intriguing question. Could they support life? Life as we know it depends on a few fundamental conditions. The presence of water is key, but so too is an energy source and certain chemical elements like carbon and oxygen. In these subsurface oceans, the conditions might just be right. Their icy shells shield them from the harshness of space, providing a stable environment. The gravitational pull from their host planets could generate heat through tidal forces, serving as an energy source. And we already know these oceans are rich in water and potentially other necessary elements. Moreover, if we look at Earth, 
life thrives in the most extreme environments, from the deepest ocean trenches to the boiling hydrothermal vents. So, if life can exist there, why not in the alien oceans of Europa, Enceladus, or Ganymede? As we continue to explore our solar system, we are not just mapping stars and planets, but charting the seas of alien worlds and perhaps the frontiers of life itself.